So what is the segment of this, uh, what should, what should we call this part? Segment. What is this segment? Uh, two full Thursdays? <laughs> two full Thursdays. What if this was like a TV show? Oh, like there's another camera here. Uh-huh. And another camera here. Yeah. That'd be cool. I mean, let's be honest, man. No one wants to watch a video unless it's about 10 minutes. Because everyone, like, the most people will be like, you see 12 <laughs> minutes and you're like, whoa. Right. Well, yeah, I'll do it while I'm working. Right. That, that was one of my questions, too, is like, if I were to put any, if, any, if my content was too long or too short, and where, where would be the, the cutoff time? Would be would be 5, would be 10, or would it be 15? Because I, 15 minutes. like, a 20 minute, when I did 20 minutes, I was like, this is basically a TV show now, you know? I was like, no commercials, yeah. Yeah, I just like, okay, I'm just going to do this 20 minute one. But one thing about the podcast is, I think... Uh, you'd have to, for anybody to listen to what you have to say, you'd have to have a, uh, what they call a, uh, some type of, uh, what is the word, like a presence, like a uh, internet presence, or, you know, you'd have to have that type of space, like, you're almost like celebrity. Like an influencer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they won't want to care about, like, like, what I would have to say, yet. But see, that's what I'm freaking trying to tell you guys. I'm freaking coming. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna break right through this mug. I'm, I'm, well, I, I'm kidding. I'm not. Well, I, I guess the way I look at it is, you know, everyone's got a talent, right? Yeah. And um, if that ta talent is, you know, put on spotlight or showcased, then the followers will come. And then if that's what gauges your, you know, recognition, then so be it. But talents among everything you know and then hard work perseverance and you'll prevail yeah I, I'm hey, I don't work that hard <laughs> I think with life like if you like right now I'm chilling and I feel like I deserve just to hang out and if I don't put out anything before um, like if I'm hanging out I have to feel like I deserve to hang out you I don't earned know if that, it. Yeah, you earned it. Yeah, I earned it just to chant, just to chill. But if if you're just chilling all the time, I'm like, yo, man, you gotta like practice something. Just practice anything, like shuffling cards or something. You know, just exercise your mind so that way it doesn't have to like focus on um, what's on your phone or what's on what's on TV, and you get like distracted. And I get it, cause I. I get into the things that I'm into, and I, I lose track of time. But you know, like you said, like, like if there was a topic for us to talk about, it would be like, why would people be so attached to technology? Like everybody's attached to it, man. You know? I mean, society, socialism, yeah. like right. connections. You know? Right. But I think a lot of it now is because that's what's cool, you know what I mean? And if someone could show that it's not cool to always be on your phone, and if that catched on, then it might flip, you know what I mean? Like, more interactions, more personal connections can be made if you just put down your phone sometimes. I think, like, there will be a time where that will come, but for the time being, it's too strong. It's way, it's gained too much momentum for that change to happen overnight. The content is too interesting that's being pushed to the masses of the people. They're just, like the masses are like, more, come on, keep coming. And I think as, crea as I'm a creator, I'm like, okay. And I'm thinking like, what could be entertaining? Like I'm thinking in my mind, like, okay, what would be, um, what would be the next thing to make so people could watch? And the, how I answer that is just whatever I want. It's like, okay, I, I feel like I'm gonna do this now, and then I push it out to the to the masses. But like pe the the people that's on the other side, like you could get into anything you want. You know, if it is guns, like okay, you could be a gun professional by four years. You would know anything and everything about guns. And meanwhile, 
your friend started to learn how to to cook or bake bread and now he has like a recipe locked down by making bread and people get crazy about the information because it's free it's free and I can't stand it because they need to lock this mug back down <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's tough. That's tough. Well, uh, like, you know, to bring it back to the phone idea, right? Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll pull out my phone just because there's nothing else better to do. You right. know what I mean? And, like, you even find it, like, say you're waiting in line for food because I'm a foodie. And, um, what am I gonna do while I'm spending time and waiting to be start interviewed? A foodie, food like, channel. Oh man, I got, I got some kind of, uh, <laughs> Sitting on the back burner, <laughs> another pun. Um, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. I gotta see where it would want to go. But uh, you pull out your phone just to kill time. You and kill then, time. But it, you know, when you get up there, it's just all about your interaction. Yeah, I think a lot of people too they get awkward um, with interaction, and that's a, that's a that's something I always struggle with too. Is like, how can I? interact with this other person without you know feeling like I'm a weirdo like I'm already weird but you know I don't know this person and I'm supposed to go and try to mm -hmm. um, like like do this verbal dance like okay here we go this is what we're talking now we're talking we're getting to this point and now you know it's like okay we like each other maybe maybe not and then it's like ah <sighs> You walk away from that interaction, like, like for me anyway. I'm, I'm feel like, man, I hope, I hope I, I seem like a cool person, and then you know, until you meet that person again, and you know, you just have that. It's weird to do that nowadays because now people interact like this with a profile pic. <laughs> Like I said, the text message. Boom! I mean, that's real because to the point where people don't even know how to communicate anymore face to face. Like, the face to face interaction is, is a lost art, and that's sad. Right. That's sad if that's where we're going to continue to go. <laughs> is it an evolved human thing to say, okay, we're going to go away from interacting from face to face and now we were going to interact through technology is that is that us evolving to a new thing like like cyborg you know what i mean <laughs> like oh well, yeah yeah like you put in your the your goggles and now you're connected without you know seeing Anybody face to face. I guess the us growing up watching the Jetsons is what screwed everything up. Mm. You know what I mean? But you could see the possibility of that happening. Y yeah, with the way the world is turning, yeah, it's there's Elon Musk or whomever that's gonna try to figure that part out of it. Isn't that crazy that there's a guy, right? It's gonna be the outlier of it. all human beings, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to make a car that drives itself. <laughs> Jetsons? Like wait, that's where it started, right? With autopilot? Come on, man. Like like when you're saying that out loud, that's still a crazy thought. But to these kids, that's like, yeah, it's not even impressive. It car drives itself. <laughs> but they've never drove a car, so they don't appreciate <laughs> ah, see? they don't appreciate the 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 difficulty in doing so just the surround like because you could be the best driver in the world right but it doesn't mean nothing because there's 99 percent of the other people you have to watch out for right and that's called defensive driving mm -hmm. in case you didn't know but uh it's just real it's real it's absolutely real and most people drive offensively they try to get into the lane the lane that they want to get into and they're very aggressive so most people drive that way i don't i drive very defensively i i react 
based on what you're doing. Like, oh, I see what you're doing. Go ahead. Go. Go. And do what you want. And give you your, uh, your uh, mental win. <laughs> yeah, I cut that guy off. But really, I just let you through because, you know, I, I like doing that. Anyway, what I was saying was, I don't even know my point. Oh, shoot.